A patient walks into the ER complaining of breathlessness and a racing heart while getting a history involving the facts that the man suffers from hypothyroidism, the nurse notices jugular distension and drowsiness in the patient. The patient loses consciousness suddenly, and the nurse quickly finds muffled heart sounds and has difficulty feeling a pulse, especially on inspiration. What is the most likely diagnosis? This one's getting a little tougher, but hopefully your red flags were going off when you saw that there was jugular distension. This could lead you to tension pneumothorax or the answer, which would be a cardiac tamponade. Now, this one's tougher because there's a couple different ways that you can have cardiac tamponade. One way is through um, chest wound or injury to the pericardium or the heart itself, which will bleed into the the space, or in this case, the hypothyroidism, which is a slow onset as a result of the hypothyroidism. And this is going to distend the um, pericardium because of fluid accumulations in there, and they can actually have quite a lot of blood in this space, whereas a typical traumatic tamponade will uh, only require a couple hundred mils of fluid to create the pressure that would lead to death. A student is asked to insert a Foley catheter into a 68-year-old patient that has arrived at the hospital in extreme pain because of an inability to urinate over the past 36 hours. During the catheterization process, what part of the urethra will be most susceptible to rupture? The answer to this one is going to be the penile portion um, just prior to the bulb of the penis, which is C. Let's take a look at the male urethra and see why this is the case. You have the internal urethral sphincter, which is draining the bladder through the prostatic portion of the urethra. Then that's going to continue through the membranous portion of the urethra, located in the deep pouch of the perineum. And it's at this area where that fibrous membrane of the perineal pouch is going to be tough and inflexible. Therefore, the Foley catheter as it passes through this area can rupture through if it doesn't make that corner just prior to the perineal membrane. That's going to pass the catheter out through into the spongy urethra, um, and then it's going to go on into the uh, external features that are going to be continuity with the uh, anterior abdominal wall. 